Hello and welcome to another Franchise Hockey Manager stream. My name is Adam. I'm the Community Manager of Franchise Hockey. With me, as always, and not pictured on your screen, is FHM producer Jeff. Say hi, Jeff. Hey, everybody. And we are back with Fire the Cannon, Columbus Blue Jackets 2004 playoff run and beyond. Jeff, it's the middle of March. We are currently sitting six in the Western Conference. Feeling confident we should probably make the playoffs. Not sure what the playoff run is going to look like. <laughs> But I uh, went backwards a little bit this year, I think. Um, yeah. I'm actually fun pulling. fact: if you can you can beat your you can surpass the, your previous season's point total if you win every game from here out. Okay, so we have a chance. Not likely, yeah. but we have a chance. Okay, so just looking uh, at the trade deadline, pull, calling up the trade deadline. Yeah, we picked up Phil, Phil Housley and Kerry Lettman. Because you needed a guy who was over 40. Yeah. And, uh, well, we got another goaltender in Kerry Lettman, so that was good. We resigned some of our guys. We needed to get. Um, we also traded for Sergei Mozikin, who I forgot to go back and look, Jeff, but I'm pretty sure it was maybe the Quebec game. Yeah, thinking about it, I think you might have, that that might be the one. It well, was quite a while back. It was, but I remember we had Mozikin, we had Datsuk, and somebody else who was 40 on, on our like our fourth line ripping it up, which was funny. So we got them. Uh, Mozikin was more just a try and see if he can turn into something. We also picked up Shane Knighty for nothing as a little bit more defensive depth because our defensive depth was taking a bit of a hurt. And so, yeah, Shane Knighty's not offering yeah, us I mean, a that's, but That's been pretty much the story of this season, just an ongoing series of defenseman injuries. Yeah. So we tried to bulk up to give us a little bit of depth. Again, Sergei, Sergei Mozik and his half-star talent, two and a half stars. Jeff Short. For people who don't know him, he basically never came overseas. He played in the KHL most of his career. Yeah, but he was... Uh, the Russian Super made, League, I guess, maybe first, then the KHL. Yeah, well, starting in Russia, but mostly with uh, Magnitogorsk in the KHL. Uh, and I think was captain of the Russian World Championships team at least once. Uh, played for them, played basically every World Championships when, Indian, when he was in his prime. But just never made it to the, uh, just never decided to come over to the NHL, but probably uh, could have. You know, I mean, we've seen what, guy, what some like guys like Panarin or uh, Kuzmenko did when they came over. He may not be quite at that level, but uh, probably if he comes <laughs> over to the NHL, 50, 60 point guy at least. Piwag, I'm so happy you're here. We have something just for you. Oh, yeah. Because so we got the first. You, t you tuned in at the best time possible. <laughs> so if you're watching this on uh, uh, PWOX currently in twitch.tv slash franchise hockey manager, uh, he's also on OOTP. If you're watching this on our YouTube channel, PWOG is a big Red Wings fan. PWOG, just stick around for th for two minutes. Two minutes, man. We just want to show you something really quick. So Let's Jeff was looking at, and we when we checked over the Detroit Red Wings, you can see their team harmony has what, Jeff? Disruptive hostility, and the wings, just for context, are the are just ahead of us in the standings, and we're playing them next. So this is why I was checking them out. But I saw that little note and decided to go into the Harmony screen and see exactly what was going on there. And so we're pulling up Team Harmony, and we can see Sean Avery hates everybody. And if you scroll down, everybody hates Sean Avery back. <laughs> oh, we're just slow, yeah. Slowly so I, I feel kind of vindicated about the whole Harmony system now. That, uh, <laughs> tell me that's not a realistic result. I think Pewog's enjoying it yeah, as well. Yeah, Sean Avery basically just hating on everybody. And everybody. Avery in this game, I mean, he was... Uh, came, I mean, the, he, the Wings were his original team before they traded him to L.A., but he came in, he had a really good rookie season. And he, did he win the Calder? No, I don't think he won. No, I think he, he was nominated for it, but didn't win it. He was a rookie all-star team uh, center. So great rookie year, and apparently that's just long enough for him to wear out his welcome because he's had kind of an... He hasn't really improved this year stats-wise, and now he's fighting with the entire team. So I think this uh, speaks well to our chances of being able to beat the end to beat the Wings in the playoffs because they're kind of imploding. And they've got some other issues on top of that, but, but the Avery one is by far the worst. Yeah, so that's... Yeah. 
Sorry. Uh, yeah, so we'll get started here as we are now past the trade deadline. We're just kind of going to move right in. Uh, so let's just take a look at Detroit's lines. Uh, Sean Avery isn't actually even playing. Okay. There's on the second line, second line center. Oh, there yeah. he is. Yeah, okay. Between Zetterberg and Morrow. Yeah. Okay, so let's just go here. Wait, did they have Crowley in that game? Uh, 4 1 win for us over Detroit. Uh, yeah, I think they got him dressed. You see, he was, he was at right 19%. Uh, yeah, they had nobody else to. on the roster. Why are they not? They probably should have called somebody up, but. No, went with it. Huh. Well, he's hurt. He's down to 1% now. He's playing through a strained anterior crucial ligament. Ouch. Is their depth chart that bad? No, oh, they got guys signed. I'm wondering if they got guys up at forward that they can't send down or don't want to send down. That could be. Oh, Punkashar is there. He could, they could wave him. Yeah, they probably... Mind you, their talent in Grand Rapids is... Week. All of it is half star. Yeah. Oh, Ilya Kovalchuk's almost ready to go. I actually forgot to look at our roster. Okay, Kovalchuk's still out. Rafalski's still out. Oh, by the way, uh, our leading scorer right now, uh, if you count his points from the other team, is Housley. Well, yeah, I know. He was that's, playing well. That's how sad the uh, your scoring has been this year. I don't know what happened. I don't think we were that. Northern Sky says strained ACL. That's not a good thing to be playing with. No, but... That's why we sent a couple guys to the bench. Uh, we lose. Oh, no, we win 2 nothing over Columbus. Or, or over Columbus, yes. We won over ourselves. Uh, St. Louis, let's try that again. Yeah, and St. Louis, arguably the best team in hockey right now. Well, they're probably not quite as good as New Jersey, but easily the best team in the division. Oh, there's a name that takes me back. Darby Hendrickson. Mm, I just don't really have a spot for him, no. No, but man, I... Whew. That that's a name that kicks kicks back. I know you'd probably like him, former former Canuck. So, yeah, it wasn't great when he was with us. Uh, Brian Ofalski says he's good. Kovalchuk's ready to go. We're not going to play them on the back to, second out of a back to back. All right, I'm going to give uh, Lettinen a game here, which I think might be his first with us. Yep. And... Yeah, two with Columbus, but other than that, uh, nothing. He had two with us. Okay, cool. He picks oh, up a shutout. Yeah, yeah, see, it's not win. just me, Jeff. It's not just me. Okay, it's not just you. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. You gave me a couple of teams with the Ducks before. Huh? Yeah, but he didn't play with them. They had him in the AHL. Shutout on Minnesota. So we're up. Oh, we win one nothing. All so right. you played him three games now, and he's had two shutouts. Okay, Merrick Zedlicki's back. Okay, how long are these guys out for still? So oh, Lanny was really two messed up. Two to three months, massive eye trauma. Visnowski. Oh, Visnowski too. Two to three months with fractured fibula. Okay, so we're. I mean, if you go twenty four for the playoffs, points. you may see them again, but still. So who am I sending down then? Ninety, I think. I mean, we could send down Bo Meester. He doesn't have to clear. We have Robida as the backup, anyways. Yeah, yeah. I think we send down Bo Meester. Okay. I'm um, going to put Zidlicki in. We can call him back up. If, yep. No, let's try this the right way. Replace with Zidlicki. And that way we're not risking losing him on waivers after acquiring him. We still have Rafalski ready to come back in. So who's coming? Oh, Nighty's coming up. Okay, so that leaves us with Robida and Nighty on the back end. Kovalchuk's coming in, so who's coming out? Burroughs? Uh, or Dominic Moore? I think Dominic Moore. He's only got five points in eight games. Uh, All right, so we're going to... Yeah, right. Derek Roy was up in the first place. We're going to unlock some of these guys now. All 
All right. Um... You sure you still want Eiserman on your second line? He's really yeah, slowing I'm down. Debating that. Okay, uh, so if we did, I redo the lines, or I did. I don't. I, that's yeah, awful did. lines. I'm not. Okay, Kovalchuk's got to be on the first line. We can put Andy McDonald on the second line. High note on the first line seems like just a waste of space. Yeah, that's not great. Uh... Do you want to put Burroughs? No, Burroughs isn't good enough. You can Do try I... Cole on the right side. Cole on the right side. Okay. Where's Justin? No, he's on the on second, second line. line. Steve Eiserman can go on the third line. He doesn't need to go all, the, all that way down. High note hasn't been playing very well, so maybe we move... Okay, what if we move Eiserman to the wing and put Ritu as the center? Derek Roy centers... Oh, Antropos sitting way down here on the fourth line. That's why. He doesn't need to be down there. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so let's get this figured out then. Okay, Antropov goes up. He was sitting on the second line. Let's put Justin Williams onto the th first line then. So first line is Kovalchuk, Datsuk, Williams. Uh, okay. Eddie McDonald. Peter Nedved. Antropov. Yeah. Do you want to put do you put McDonald or Mc, or Cole on the second line? Probably McDonald. Yeah. Okay. Eisman on the third line with Ritu and Cole. Okay. Let's try that. Let's rebalance this. And I'm just gonna lock these guys in so they can redo the power play lines. Uh, Chara, Rafalski, yeah, I like that. Zadlikli, Markov, Phil Housley. I don't know if I want Phil Housley on our fourth or third pairing. Should we move him up to second pairing? Seems like a waste to acquire him and then put him on the third pair. He is on the power play, but yeah, let's move him up to the second pairing. Switch him with Markov. I kind of like that. Okay, we're gonna. All those guys are locked in. We're just gonna create lines again here. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna advance here. Yeah, that's not really somebody that interesting. Okay, Jeff, I'm gonna pause here for Phil Housley yeah, may right. retire. Oh no! Told you. That's Although okay. you did give him a new contract, he may come back. Yeah. Uh, you need okay. a minute. Yeah, I'm going to give you a minute. So to, what I'm going to do, Jet, is I'm going to put you on the stats screen. Sound good? For the league, and you can look at that for a moment. If it's going to... League stats, you mean? Yes. Yeah, league stats. Okay, I'll be right back. Yep. Okay, one thing we should mention here. Lemieux in uh, New Jersey obviously is a little weird. Uh, what happened there was there's a new trading uh, function we added in one of the later updates. And it was missing uh, some, uh, missing a particular guideline that would have kept them, kept Pittsburgh from trading Lemieux away like they did. But uh, we happened to be playing right when it was, right before it was fixed. So the, the Pittsburgh wound up trading uh, Lemieux for Marty Turco, which obviously they'd never do. But it's in the game, it's actually worked out reasonably well for them because Turco is done great as their starter and uh instead of well basically instead of moving uh, mario away they traded uh him and or instead of moving yager away they traded mario away and kept yager and you can see yager is uh having pretty good and putting up pretty good numbers leading or no second in the league in shots behind heatley uh yeah, and one two three fourth in points um danny briere second in uh point total which is a little bit of a surprise uh, he's 
I think this is about a year before he broke out uh, in real life. If I'm remembering right, I gotta hang on. I gotta check that. Uh, yeah, traded to Buffalo, and then okay, no, it was a good uh, about three years actually. That last season, or it was two years, but that last season with Buffalo, where he hit 95 points. Oh, yeah, and then in the, in the uh, partial year, he yeah, had before that uh, missed part of the season. Or wait, was that the lockout year? Yeah, uh, but 58 points in uh, 48 games. So a year or two ahead of schedule there, but in this one, Phoenix didn't trade him away, so they get to hang on to him for a while. Uh, what else is going on here? Federer. Uh, yeah, go ahead. No, no, okay. I, sorry about that. Um, Pwog's mentioning uh, in the chat, I don't know if you saw that, he said, Ex happy to see uh, Mike Vernon make the Hockey Hall of Fame. This year. Yep, uh, Carolina is apparently not happy about Rod Brindam. We're not still not making it in, though. Uh, I mean, you know, down goes Brown on the Athletic talked about it, and he's like, you know, he's in the Hall of Very Good. I don't know if he's a, a Hockey Hall of Fame. The problem is he was a really good defensive forward, and he won the Selkie twice. Yeah. And that kind of, I mean, he's it's it's the Hall of Very Good because you get, defensive guys tend to get underrated. Well, again, but, I mean, as far as to what he was contributing to his teams, is it really less than some of the guys that are in there? Well, there's some guys in the Hockey Hall of Fame who should have not got in. But it was, oh, yeah, it was well. surprising to see three goalies make it this year. Uh, Jeff, now, I forgot to mention this at the top of the show, but it's a good time now to mention it as any. You didn't mention what's going on with the game right now, did you? I didn't know. It's uh, This is the welcome to the second half of our playoff sale, or I guess it's the post-playoff sale now. Yes, uh, post so, playoff sale. Yes. Normally, we do a two week playoff sale uh, fairly early in the playoffs, uh, but Steam had their Steam Sports uh, event going down earlier this month. And it was only a week long, but we wanted to participate in that. Problem is, doing that locks us out of uh, any other sales for a few weeks. So we did that, and uh, but we only got half the usual sale time out of it. So now we've got this other sort of belated uh, after playoff 50% off sale. So that is available now if you haven't picked up the game yet. Uh, yeah, so that's nineteen ninety nine USD right now. Yep. It just went on sale today, mm -hmm. June 21st, for a week, uh, starting at uh, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It'll be off yeah, on then June 28th at 1 p.m. Standard Time. So don't miss out. What did and you I, do against Vancouver there? I missed that. We won. We won. I guess yeah, I guess a good thing. I guess we should uh, announce too there that I, I, or rather I gave the dates, but I should say this is 2023. In case you're watching this in the future and wondering why the game's not in sale. Yeah, <laughs> as opposed to this game, which is in 2004. No, yeah, well, you know, well, actually, we had a comment on a, <laughs> on our uh, um, official trailer. Uh, well, maybe a month ago now, someone said. Uh, they're like, oh, look, you have the World Juniors and there's the or uh, the Czechoslovakia is playing in it. What is this? How old is this? Or not up to date game is this? And I'm like, well, if you look, that screenshots from the 1978 one. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, what did uh, Ronick do to himself there? He's out for on two two tie. Oh, I will have to check. Sorry, I've been just trying to flip through this. Uh, question from PWOG says, what's the latest on the new version coming? It's being worked uh, on. Yeah, I can't really say anything yet. Uh, I've been doing a lot of work on historical stuff actually lately. Although the last couple of days I've been on something else, which is... Concussion. Concussion. Yeah, uh, concussion. Yeah. All right. So we lost McDonald, but Nedved can play. So Moore is getting replaced with Nedved. And Aronic still had about five years in him left at this point. And McDonald gets replaced by Moore. All right. And uh, you've passed Detroit, or are you tied with them? We are currently past them by four points. Yeah. So things are starting to fall apart for the wings, it looks like. That disruptive hostility is catching up. 
and the massive injuries to the defenseman. Or, well, not massive, but just playing while they're extremely three, three, fatigued. Oh, no. Particularly when one of them slits. Okay, here's a difficult decision now. We're just shy uh, of the playoffs. Zidlicki has been hurt with a sprained ankle. Likely duration is one to two months. Okay, sprained ankle isn't as severe as some of the other stuff he can delay. It's going to hurt his performance. I would move him. I, I'd reduce his ice time, but I think you've got to delay that. Yeah. With the amount of injuries. Maybe, maybe, just a thought, we give him the rest of the regular season off. Won't really make a huge difference unless you're just trying to avoid hurting him more. Well, that's that's what, I, what I'm thinking. We're at 78 oh, okay. games already. We're probably not catching Phoenix. They're at 94. Yeah, that's a viable option, I think. I think we, we rest him. Uh, so we'll bring Robida in. What do the conference standings look like? Sorry, just give me a second here. Well, that would be conference standing. Yeah. That is conference standings. We're sitting oh, yeah. fifth. Yeah, and gaps on either side of you, so. Yeah. We're not catching, so yeah. He can play in the playoffs, but we're just going to. Hey, the Canucks might make it. Uh, they got a tough go there, I think. Oh, man. Oh, a few games left in the season, and the Bruins fire Pat Burns. Rough. Ouch. How and are they? they got Chris Nealon to be their new head coach. They're Nylon. 30, 36, and 12. Nyland, sorry. Yeah. Game at Buffalo here. And Byron Defoe and Net when we beat them. Why is Byron Defoe and Net for Buffalo? Oh, let me look it up. Oh, well, Hasek's not hurt. Yeah, he was backing up Ashik. Oh, he's actually stealing the starter job from him by the looks of it. Are they splitting? No, he's got 48 games to Hasek's 35. That's a little surprising. Uh, Ashik's had a couple of injuries. Defoe wound up in Buffalo uh, via the waiver draft. Bruins waived him. And Andy Sutton got injured? Broken toe out two to three weeks. No, we're not going to delay his injury on that. Yeah. Oh, he's down to one and a half stars. That's, was he above that? I thought he was. Don't remember him being that. All right. Replace. Shane Knighty comes in then. All right. I guess we could have had Z or, um, Robida in for him. Andy McDonald's close. Game versus Detroit. Can we help out your team? And it's a 1 1 tie. Sean Avery gets scores a goal and he's the second star. If that makes him any more popular, no scoring until the third period. Oh, we got tied out with nine seconds left. Must have the goalie out. Sometimes that's all you need. All right. And Talks I think that jerseys. means Detroit can't pass you. All right, development report. Eric Cole takes a big jump. Oh, nice. Fighting, determination, shooting, accuracy, hitting. Alex Burroughs yeah. continues to increase. Leah Kovalchuk goes up in speed. Three and a half stars. I think that's what he's at. Tomarutu's going up. Nice. Justin Williams up. Picking in. Patrice Bergeron takes a big jump. Jonas Gustafsson. You know what? I don't think I ever got back to this question. Uh, P. Walk says, do you two see any big surprises, NHL drafts or trades? I The biggest question mark for draft picks is where Mitch Chikoff goes. I think it's, he'll be second. He, it could go second. I don't see him dropping out of the top five. Oh, unless no, not, there, definitely not too far. Un, I unless, think unless there's some weird conspiracy to get him into Washington, which isn't entirely <laughs> impossible. Uh, monthly budget. You're sitting pretty good. Um, yep. Lots of money for your owner to steal. In terms of trades, uh, you know, I think a lot... Say what you want, but I think everybody's waiting to see what the Jets do. 
Yeah. Because I think once the Jets get... Are they going to buy out Wheeler? Honestly, I don't think they do. I don't really see a point to do it, but unless they want like a full culture change. But I mean, like to me, keep them, trade them at the deadline. I think makes way more sense than, than buying him out unless he goes to a team he really wants to go to and you're eating part of that contract for a year. A buyout seems less than ideal. Um, but I think once they get Dubois figured out and they get Hellebuck figured out, I'm sad Hellebuck's going, but... That's going to be the one that hurts. Uh... Yes and no. No, I think that's definitely a yes. No, no, no like, don't get me wrong. I agree. Oh, Dominic he, Moore with good points. Yeah. Like, and Sutton still hurt. McDonald's getting close. Like, don't get me wrong. Hellebuck is a, a fantastic goalie. But for all the panic people have, like, I mean, you look at who their backups have been, like, the last, since, like, Hellebuck and uh, their goaltending coach, whose name is escaping me at the moment. Um, uh, uh, oh, he was a long time up and, and down in NHL, NHLer. Uh, oh, this is so bad. He played with a moose at the end. That's how he's basically there now. Wade Flaherty. Wade Flaherty. Thank you. Uh, if you look once him, him and Hellebuck kind of got in their system, I mean, you look at the backup goalies they've had. Turns out they've actually played pretty well with their backups, and their backups have turned out and got nice contracts. Like, okay, so you have going backwards. I don't think, uh, you know, Big Save Dave was that bad this year. He played well enough in the games he was in. Eric Comrie got that, like, what, $7 million contract from Buffalo, and he does not look the same being in Buffalo as he did in Winnipeg. Laurent Boissat, I would have no issue with them going out and getting him. I liked him when he was here, and everyone thought that was going to be a disaster when he came because he was not great with Edmonton. Uh, like, so. But you know, the main thing is you got to get somebody who's going to pay a premium for Alabuck. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, yeah. And look, there you go. Sean Avery scoring again. First goal of the game. Yeah. Oh, Shane Knight, he gets his first goal of the year with the last game. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah. And you might finish with 95 points, so actually pretty close to last year's total. I think six points off. And... Actually, you know, yeah, Jeff, if we look at our schedule here, just going to pull up the schedule here. So we it was March 11th we started. We went one. We tied, lost, tied, 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 and won everything else. Yep, only one loss in this, well, basically since you started the stream. Since you told us we couldn't lose. Like, I mean, that's... That's pretty good. Not bad. That's pretty How's good. How's your uh, injury situation, particularly Solani? Uh, he's, uh, we'll look here after these nominations. Okay, so not the heart, not the Vesna. I don't think you're going to get any not individual the ones. You didn't uh, have not anybody really standing out? Not the GM. We should be getting the GM one. Uh, not now the You won't get that when you go backwards in points? Oh, no. Wait, what? Okay, in a breaking word world of not hockey, the three-team NBA trade has fallen apart. Which one? Boston, Washington, and L.A. Involving Kristaps Porzingis, Malcolm Brogdon has fallen apart. Oh, I was, yeah, I was just looking at that in our NBA. Fell apart? Huh. Yeah. My phone is going off and alerting me to things. Uh, we can't even get a jack... Patrick Ilias fractures his finger in training. <laughs> He's done for the playoffs. <laughs> Assuming they made it, I would have. Yeah, yeah they were the oh, number yeah, no, one seed. <laughs> How's Ilias doing with... Uh, Assuming he's on Lemieux's line. Oh, no, he's not. Uh, they've got him. Lemieux with... Uh, Wow, at the start of this, he was when he was playing with Pandolfo and Mike Greer. Oh wow, that hurts the. That's gonna hurt the Devils. All right, 
Uh, so we're playing Phoenix in round one. So let's go look and we're at our... Andy Sutton is still out. Zidlicki can play. Okay, McDonald's back, so we're going to take Moore out and replace him with McDonald. Okay, in terms of injured list, Solani and Viznoski are both down to one to two months. Sorry, need some water. Uh, yeah, just looking at the Phoenix doesn't really have much in the way of goaltending. They've had they Patrick De Roche as the starter. Okay, is okay. We're gonna put Nighty's coming out and getting replaced with Zidlicky, who is hurt but gonna come play third minutes. We're gonna put Markov with Phil Housley instead of Stefan Robidas. Looks like they've got one big line, and then it really tails off after that. I was going to create some lines oh, here. Oh, Kimo and had a big year on D. All right. Play a game versus Phoenix. All right. All right, how's Iserman doing on the wing? Should see how he's actually adapting. We could put him at center of the third line, too. It might, yeah, it might make some more sense to put Rutu on the wing. He'll be better there than yeah, he's Iserman is. 13, yeah. Yeah, that's probably a good call. Oh, are we going to move? There we go. All right. Game versus Phoenix. Let's look at Phoenix's team here. Keith Kachuk, Straka, Doan on the first line. Steen, White, Briere, Peterson, Lutowski, Ryder. I can't say that name. Dallas Drake and Curtis Glenn Cross. Branko Radivojevic. Yeah, I definitely can't say that name. Kimo Timonen, Darren Quint, Tepo Neumannen, Dykos, Carney. Well, there's still actually some pieces of the original Jets here. Yeah, and Steen is looking pretty old. Steen still being there, or er, drafted there, looks interesting. All right. Oh, yeah. Dad's team. 3-2 uh, victory to start us off in the play. I guess we didn't look at everybody else in the playoffs, so if we, we should do that before we jump in too far there. Okay. But Kovalchuk with two goals. Nice start. Yeah. Uh, we want to look at NHL and go to standings. Okay, so San Jose is playing St. Louis. Vancouver's playing L.A. Wow, Vancouver made it. All right, good for Vancouver. Nice. Detroit's playing Edmonton. Buffalo's playing New Jersey. Tampa Bay's playing Ottawa. Washington's playing Florida. And Montreal's playing Pittsburgh. Now, Jeff, am I? I got to think about this for a minute. Um, two thousand four, was that the Cluche year, or is that Cluche a couple of years before that? Was that the year uh, he he took the shot in the face and let them score? Can't remember which year that was. It might it might it have was, been two thousand two. Yeah, it would have been. And we yeah, stomp, I'm not sure. Stomp Phoenix for nothing. I think I might have called them Arizona by accident. Uh, back and forth, can't remember all the names. Uh, McDonald got hurt with back soreness. All right. We should actually call up another forward right now, anyways. Where's Ron? 41 points, 74 games. He's only one star. We call up Pascal Dupuis, but he's not any better. So, yeah. Bergeron's going to come up. We will put uh, more in. Yeah, he did. He more played really well at the end of the season those last couple of games. Yeah, and that was the position he was playing in because McDonald was hurt. So we'll see. If not, we can always jumble the lineups and move Burroughs all the way up. I bet you're up to nothing already, so... Yep, don't want to jumble the lines too much. And it's a 3-2 loss. Mm -hmm. All right. Decision made. We're changing the lineups completely. Uh, the other series going? 
Uh, three nothing Kings over Vancouver. Not looking good for Vancouver. Two one Sharks over St. Louis. Two one Edmonton over Detroit. Yep, Detroit continues to fall apart. Two one New Jersey over Buffalo. Two one Tampa over Ottawa. Two one Washington over Florida. And two one Montreal over Pittsburgh. And Ottawa is the uh, two time defending champion in this game. Yeah, so we're gonna take more. I'm gonna replace him with. But if I'm remembering right, they uh, had a major injury to somebody. Uh, oh, yeah, Alexi Ashen. Uh, torn yes. elbow and out indefinitely. So it appeared that they were starting to give up on the season and were beginning a rebuild. So All we'll right. see what they do in the playoffs. So we moved Burroughs up and we got destroyed. And we just lost Eric Cole. Fantastic. Well, still got home advantage. Yeah, so we basically need Andy Sutton to come back immediately. Oh, good. He's ready to return or ready, ready already. So he's coming back in because I don't know what we're doing otherwise. Okay, so uh, let's see here. Moore is getting replaced with. Burroughs. No, nope, Sutton's not ready to play. He's still red. Ah, uh, no, McDonald, not Sutton. McDonald. Yeah. Moore gets replaced with McDonald. Cole gets replaced with Moore. Okay, so that moves Moore into the third line. All right. Series is tied two-two. And we lose two one. Man, we're gonna we blew a two nothing lead in the series and we're gonna lose now. Lost in overtime. Double uh, overtime. Ouch. Did Dennis Peterson of all people getting the winner? It's like McDonald's the fourth line, is, I think. McDonald is actually ready to hundred percent. Sutton's getting close. Yeah. Oh, well, zidlicky has gotta come out. Zidlicky is killing us. Oh, ninety percent, right yeah, ninety. So ninety's coming in. Maybe I wasn't watching that close enough. Maybe that's what was hurting us. Although that double overtime game would do him no good. All yeah, right, he would have been dead at the end of that. And four-one victory. Okay, we hanging have hanging by a thread. Hanging by a thread. They scored shorthanded. We scored three goals in the third to just put the stamp on. All right, Andy Sutton says put me in, but you know what? We're going to leave our lineup as it is. Rolling the dice, Jeff. Rolling the dice, and the dice says win. Being up 2 nothing and all fighting against elimination, we have come back. The Nearly blew it. But... The guarantee, Jeff. The guarantee. The achievement comes through. You get the achievement. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So proud. Kim is chilling. Says, North, goal for North Michigan legend Dallas Drake. You mean Winnipeg Jet. Winnipeg Jet, Dallas Drake. And I'm sure P-Wog would call him Wings legend Dallas Drake. We can share him, P-Wog. <laughs> we can share him. Wow, I can't believe we pulled that off. What happened in the other series? That's what or I was just going happened? to look. I know they'll all be over. Yeah, uh, Edmonton beat Detroit. L.A. swept the Kings. Or L.A. swept the Kings. L.A. swept Vancouver. San Jose stomped San, or San Jose stomped St. Louis. Wow, that is a big upset. Yeah, actually, that's uh, although San, San, San Jose went to the in, Stanley Cup final last year. If you remember, they beat us in round two. Uh, and the defending cup champions, speaking of them, are out in five to Tampa. New Jersey versus Tampa. Montreal win 4-2 over Pittsburgh. Don't forget, New Jersey has Mario Lemieux on it. Yeah. Oh, P-Wog's back. Yeah, I was says, explaining that earlier. P-Wog's good with Sharon Dallas, Drake. That's, I'm good, good with that, P-Wog. I look at the Oilers team. Uh, Kim just asked, and it's, they're kind of interesting. It's uh, uh, definitely not really the historical Oilers. Uh, Brian Boucher and Mattel, oh. Qu Telquist and Nett. Michael Telquist and Nett. Yeah, Telkos looks like he's the starter. Yeah. Was he ever? No, he was never quite a starter in the NHL. Like he played a bunch of games for Phoenix and the Leafs a couple of times. But. Yeah, we can, we can check that after. Uh, I mean, they got Bill Guerin. 
Young Brett and Seabrook. Mike Comrie. Alex Seaman. Ryan Smith. Yeah, it's just... Actually, there was a stat I saw that I didn't realize. It said for the guy who they call Captain Canada, Ryan Smith was never the captain of the Oilers. And isn't in this game either. Winnipeg yeah. Jet legend Chad Kilger. And by Winnipeg Jet legend, I mean the guy who got traded for Tima Solani. Son of Hall of Fame, or not? not I think Bob Kilger's in the Hall of Fame. Mike, I think Joe Lines with Bob Kilger, at least. Mike Van Ryan's there. Yeah, definitely an interesting lineup. Young uh, team. Talquist checking his real stats here. Well, it was basically a backup. Played 30 games with Phoenix. Was the closest he did for full. I actually thought he was in the league longer than that. Yeah, seven years. All right, game t versus Edmonton. Uh, I don't think anyone's healthy enough. I didn't really check. Change anything. Nobody. McDonald's at 79, but nobody lower than that. Yeah. Uh. Nobody you'd want to put in any has it lucky. Maybe when he gets back up. Maybe. I don't know. But he's Let's only see. at 55% right now. Yeah. And 4-2 victory to start. Nice. 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 Kimmich Jones says this team has a bunch of players I disliked in real life as a kid. Oh, as a kid. Oh, man. That makes me feel old, Jeff. <laughs> I think it makes me feel. <laughs> uh. uh. I still think of most of these guys as young players. Actually, I was, I was doing some cleaning, and I found my uh, full set of 92-93 NHL player hockey cards from Opechee. Although I think, ironically, it's missing one card. It's not actually a full set. I never got the last guy. You can probably find it on eBay. Oh, probably. But no, it's it, it was, like, bought as a full set. Ah. Uh. And I don't know if I accidentally traded it away it's possible but i think there's one card missing it's been a long time since i've actually counted all the way through and i you know i had them all divided up by teams and then taken back and yep, yep. and then put them all back in order and numbers yeah, it was, it was oh, 78 no Tomo 78 79 opg said i think i had enough for three complete sets except i could never get gary simmons who's like the backup in la for some reason there were no cards of him Finally got a beat up old one of them to finish the set off. Right. Uh, uh, Bergeron's getting in his first play, pl first game with us. Oh, in the playoffs, we need to Don change his style. Well, we don't have everybody else. We need to. Nope, that's not right. I want to go tactics. He said as a screener right now. I got to imagine he's got a better role. Two way forward. Yeah, yep. that fits him better. All right, coming in on the third line, playing right wing, and it's a one nothing loss. Uh, outshot them, but just couldn't score. Eric Cole's ready to resume skating. Andy Sutton says he's good to play. Okay, Zidlicki says he's at 80%, so we're going to put him in for 90 we really need Rude 2 to get back here. And 5-3 victory. Was it Licky coming back in? Phil Housley yeah, scores. Sure. p -Wog says, you guys mentioned being old. My first computer... It was a 1987-286 machine, $3,000 USA. Ouch. I actually found the receipt a while ago, well, more than a while ago, a decade ago probably of my, of the first computer we ever had. And I don't know where it is right now, but I remember it cost probably at least $2,000 and it had a whopping 8 megabyte hard drive. And I mean, for the time, that's pretty good. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean... My first computer was a Commodore 64, big 64K of RAM. Ah, 2-1 lost. And the storage for it was a uh, tape drive. 
Tomo Ritsu is on the edge of report, returning uh, development report. Patrice Bergeron, another big three bump. Nice. Uh, lots of little bumps for guys. Okay. And Housley went down. Huh. That's not good. Not surprising. No, not that. Uh, a Syracuse crunch. Our team harmony is disruptive hostility. Uh, I think that's league. just uh It's it's a non-playable league, so I think that's just a default. Uh, well, the, the default doesn't actually do anything. <laughs> yeah. Do you see uh, we have who our GM of the minor league team is? Search oh, showing up Sir Savard. I don't that's know. <laughs> um, okay, looking here again. Okay, Ritu can play, so we're going to throw him in for Bergeron. Uh, okay, monthly budget, blah, blah, blah. We're not changing anything. Is it lucky? Is it 43%? I was going to check him just before. Okay, we got guys we need to nominate. We're going to nominate Carol Vanas. Ah, no, Butch Goring. Winnipeg legend. Butch Goring probably deserves to be in the Hall of Fame, let's be honest. Yeah. More than some of the guys who are currently in there. My cousin was his wing one year in uh, minor hockey. So it was the easiest year he ever had. And 4-2 win to get back in the series. We'll just take a quick look at the standings because I forgot to do that before. We've taken a 3-2 lead. All right, so we're controlling our destiny. 2-2 San Jose, LA. 2-2 Tampa Bay, New Jersey. 3-1 Florida over Montreal. Possible all Florida Eastern final. Lubinir Visnovsky is ready to resume skating. Uh, he was approximately the same time as Solani, wasn't he? What's Solani, yeah, Sean? Uh, one to two months still, but Visnovsky down to one to two weeks. Okay, okay. Game versus Edmonton. Tomori is at 63. He can play through that. And one nothing Edmonton. Oh, we're going to game seven. Only one going to game seven. Utu says he's healthy, but how healthy is he actually? Okay, is it Licky's at 70 air, 80%? So 90's coming out and replacing. Was it Licky? Oh, no, we lost Robida. Okay, so Robida's coming out. He's getting replaced with 90. Wait, what about Sutton? I mean, is Sutton better than. It's seven points. If they're going to be on the left side, uh, I think enough 90 can play left, can he? He's played right oh, there. Yeah, he can. All right, okay, fine. Okay. Because you're complaining, we'll put Sutton in for his first game in months. Sutton's. Okay. All right. That's fine. We're done. Rutu's at 85%. Arrested. All right, Jeff. We are the only game left. San Jose won. New Jersey won. Florida won. We win and we move on to the Western Conference Finals. We lose out in the second round for two years in a row. And the answer is we win and we're headed to the oh. Western Conference Finals. Three goals in the second period. And then score Dominique Moore scores quickly in the third. And suddenly we are in the Western Conference Finals. And we just lost Andy McDonald for three days because, of course, we did. Eric Cole says he's ready to come back. Okay, yeah, McDonald can play. You may get Solani back. So do we put Cole in right now where he's still just a little bit injured, or do we wait him out? I think we'll Him or McDonald, I mean. Uh, Zidlick is at 65, so you'd probably want to put 90 in for him? Nah, he's going to play one game here. First game. Okay. 4-3 victory. All right. Trevor Kid for San Jose. Phil Housley scores the first one. Matt, Phil Housley has paid off. I don't care what you say. Scoring goals. Scoring uh, goals. Just look at this. San Jose team is pretty much like what you'd remember him from this time. Marlo, Jonathan Chichu, Owen Nolan, Mike Ricci. 
Oh, D looks a little different. D is actually, oh, okay, now they got ham use. Yeah, no, no big scorer, although uh, Yuri Slager is. My boy, Yuri Slager. Yep, having a pretty good year for them, or half year at least. This is a backup. I don't even know that name. David David Le Uh Was he Sabres, I want to say? No, Coyotes and Blue Jackets, okay. parts of three seasons. They got Brian Elliott coming, but boy, yeah, their goaltending is weak, 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 weak. Yeah, Kid was pretty much done by this. was his last season with the Leafs, but he's actually having a good year in the game. Yeah. But yeah, from the blue line back, these guys are in trouble. I'm surprised they made it this far. I don't know how they upset St. Louis. All right. But everything's kind of falling into place for you here. Well, of course, you say that, we lose. 3 2. Okay. All right. Robidas is ready. Derek Roy says he can. Derek Roy was hurt. Okay. Abdominal soreness. Okay. Everybody else is back healthy. Nice. Uh, Roy, we're going to take it. Yeah, we're going to replace him with more for right now. McDonald's at 70, but he can play through it. Zidlicki is only at 71, so we'll give him another game. And 3 1 loss. Okay. Roy is chomping out the bit. Stefan Robidas is ready to come. So Robidas can come in and we can send out the clown. Uh, send in the clowns. Okay, replace with. Is it Licky? More can get replaced with Roy. And we're looking pretty good otherwise now. McDonald's still at 76, but he can pick it up. Come on, boys. 2-1 victory. Ooh. Back in it. Again, who scores? Phil Housley. That's the winner, yep. Oh, no. Now we're hurt. Kovalchuk, he's got a minor facial cut, and he's day to day. What? Come on, Kovalchuk, you can play through that. See, I don't know why that's not coming up as orange. It should. Gotta check on that. I'm gonna assume it was a cut right over, right on top of his eye, and that's why he can't play. But Dominic Moore gets back in again, I guess. Yeah, but that's that's a big downgrade. And 2 1 loss. Uh oh. We done? 3 2. I'm back into this position. Viznovsky is ahead of schedule. Florida on the verge of knocking off uh, New Jersey. I think they did. Ray Emery and goal. Shane Knighty's coming back in. All right. Final game of the season, or do we live for another day? We live for another day. 4 nothing shutout. Boom shakalaka. Wow, we were up one nothing until 17.34 in the third period that we scored at 17.34, 19.33, 19.54. Uh, last two must be empty net. Second last one was, last one wasn't. Oh, last one wasn't, yeah. yeah. I know it gets his first of the playoffs into the empty net. Ooh, okay. Kovalchuk is ready to play, or can play. Shane Knighty got hurt. Okay, he's down to 80%. He can still play that. I mean, is Knighty at 80 better than Zidlicki at 70? Yes. Wouldn't say so. All right. But, I mean, if we Kovalchuk lose, I know who we're blaming. Everybody knows we're blaming Jeff? Yep. Okay. Good. All right. I'm like you can save Zidlicki for something else at this point. Last game of the year. If you... Why are you being so negative, Jeff? 
Kovalchuk comes in. Kipper, you're going to have to play well, Kipper. Two, one, victory. Tomo Rutu comes through in the third to and win Dan it. Huff, first star is Dan Hideout, the guy you keep trying to dump. Yeah, because he's done nothing in the regular season. At least he's doing something in the playoffs. Game seven victory. And Peter Nedved's injured because, of course, he is. He has a cervical hyperextension, hyperextension likely two to three weeks. Yeah, that's getting uh, delayed, right? Oh, it's Stanley Cup final. It has to be delayed. Yeah, I mean. He's probably going to get hurt in game one. Oh, wow. We actually made it to the Stanley Cup final. And Viznoski is ready to come back, baby. We have Viznoski what? here. What's uh, Solani's injury time? Stan? Oh, man. Uh Solani is still two to three weeks, so he's probably missing the rest of it. Oh, boy. So we have Viznovsky who can step in for Zidlicki right now. Or no, wait. Hold on. Let me think about this. We should put Robodaz up on the second line, right? No, he's on the third line. Okay. Never mind. Redo the D? No, I think, I think we're kind of okay yeah. with where it is. Zidlicki gets replaced with Viznovsky. And now it's going to come down to Robida and Zidlicki for who's in or out. Kovalchuk's at 58%. Oh, let's see where Zidlicki's fitness is at the, when you get to the first game. Yeah, okay. Shane Knighty's chomping at the bit. So is he's... the uh, Florida jersey series? Oh, we got jersey. Oh, he turn... Came back against Florida. I missed that. Okay. Is Elia still? Oh, hurt? it wasn't even close. It was four one. No, we were. You misread that. Oh, was I? Oh, I must have seen that. Yes, I thought it was Florida. Was up three one. Apparently not. Uh, Elias was two to three months. So yeah, he should still be hurt. Yeah, one to two months. So we are playing against Martin Brodeur, Scott Niedermeyer, and oh yeah, Mario Lemieux. And Mario Lemieux. Not to mention Scott Gomez, Jason Arnett, Mike Greer. Alexei oh, well, Kovalev, the stars. Yeah, John Madden. Okay, yeah. Oh. Yeah, this is a stack team. This is going to be a real tough one to actually win. Um, and you're kind of limping in with your... With our, yeah. I don't... Uh, yeah, Kovalchuk, I should maybe give the game off, but I don't think I should... I would move Nedved down a few lines. He's not going to be effective uh, with that. Playing with playing herd. So the question is, do we move Derek Roy all the way up to second line center? I would do that, yeah. Unless you want to move somebody like McDonald into uh, the center spot. Or Antropov. And then move Cole maybe up to the second line. Yeah, try that for the first Let's one. Let's try this one. All right, first game. And it is a 4-1 loss to New Jersey. I don't think this is going to be particularly close. I think we're going to get absolutely hammered here with our injuries. Yep, Mario, no surprise. First star. Kovalchuk is healthy now. Uh, Robodas can come out, get replaced with... Is it Licky? Yeah, this just feels like we're... We're asking to get destroyed, and we five nothing loss. Yeah, this is. Oh this... no, man! Well, those are both on the road, though. You're back home now. All right, I'm actually going to take Nedved out, and in a surprise move, we're putting Patrice Bergeron as our number four centerman. Solani is ready to resume skating. Just as you're about to get swept. Yep. Thanks, Tamu. Great sense of timing there. For two loss. Wow. Uh, look, who's, look who's coaching the uh, Devils. I didn't. Butch Goring. Uh, of course, yeah. <laughs> the guy you just nominated for the Hall of Fame. Well, I mean, deserved deserve. Nice of you. All right. Uh, this is uh, Zidlicki's down to 46%. So Zidlicki's coming out and getting replaced with Shane Knighty because... 
Shane Natty deserves the game. And sim it out. And 2-1 loss. We get swept in the Stanley Cup final. How dare you, Jeff? How dare you? Sorry, I said I know you said we weren't going to have used the sound effects, but <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting on that one. That Devils team is just too good. And yeah, we just yeah swept us four straight. We were if Nedved was healthy, if Solani was healthy, maybe we get a win or two there. But boy, yeah, it yeah. No, just, I mean this is an all that's an all time great team there. And yeah, the announcements of the injuries. Yeah, I don't think we have anybody left for upcoming free agents. Yeah, um, disappointing end yeah. to the season. Just, just I happened. Got literally nobody. Uh, well, we traded away some guys who were going to be. You got Chris Thorburn is going to be out of the OHL this year. I think you need to sign him. Okay, so we're going to play to the NHL awards. No, uh, let's advance here for a moment. Just continue and it'll drop you at the... Uh... Well, we'll probably have scouts we have to resign here quickly. Hall of Fame vote. Brad McCrimmon. Doug Wilson. Mark Howe. Yeah, you've got... Uh... Butch Gorn. Seven, and actually quite a few staff. It'll be... Expiring. Well, this and is like our third season ish. Yeah. We just got our contract extended. I mean, we've turned our team into a. Oh, man. <laughs> Daddy, he <laughs> an album. All what's, right. What's he do? What's, uh, what kind of music is it? I'm trying to see here. Uh... What does it not say? I thought it did an acoustic guitar album. Oh, Jeff, we got a spelling issue there. Okay. What? Where? It says an acoustic guitar album. Or oh, album. acoustic. Yep. I will fix that in a moment. That's my fault. I missed that. No, I did some editing on that one, too. Might be me. The, oh, oh look. Solani is, is ready to come back album. June 14th. Well, isn't that fantastic timing? All right. Hey, guys, I'm back. When's the next game? Well, the good news is, Jeff, we're heading into a lockout because we don't want to talk to our players. Does John... Although it's not going to happen in this game. There will be a 2004-05 season. Just a... So now... Well, it didn't happen in real life. Now, we've talked about this before. Historical kind of follows the historical trends. So for the lockout year, is it still playing like the previous, or are we going to start seeing more open? Uh, mostly the previous. I think it's I, the way I did it was just uh, assume that he had agreed to play under the uh, previous CBA while I negotiated. I can't remember if I changed anything now, so any of the new 2005 rules come up before that. Wait, I got the. I can check a couple of things easily enough. I got the editor open. NHL 04. Uh, so we have John Madden as our assistant coach. Different John Madden, of course. Yeah, still low goals per game, so I used that from the previous year. Oh, that's weird. Why did that happen? And, yeah, no... Jeff, look at your screen here. No, can't get it. Look at the screen. Uh, you see this on the right uh, side here? Oh, well, you, when did that come up? When you were doing... Uh... Doing contract stuff here. Huh. I don't, didn't even notice that. That's... Yeah, it might be. See if it changes when you advance. I'm seeing it. Okay, when I go back and forth, it switch. It's back to normal. That's okay, weird. yeah. Okay, so we got everybody back. Okay, we're gonna continue forward. I 
All right, we're going to get to July 1st here, uh, just so we don't... Yeah, this is lose still capitals and everything here, so... Um, August 15th. Okay, we can lose Rick Rippon. I don't really want to lose Rick Rippon. Oh, we got to advance two more days. Award ceremony, just show all. Yager won the heart. Stahl won the best rookie. Lindstrom, best defenseman. Marchman as Frank J. Selke. Scott Niedemeyer won the Scott or won the Conn Smythe. Ottawa got best GM, best coach. How is that fair? That's actually kind of weird. That shouldn't be happening if. Uh, well, you know, I did change the weighting though, so it's not necessarily improvement, but. Yeah, did I'm, they I'm up a lot more points in the previous season. I'm salty. Well, they shouldn't have because they won the Stanley Cup, but. But they didn't. How many? Well, they had a hundred points the previous year. They were down a little bit, but then got knocked out of the playoffs because of the Ashton injury. All right. Yeah, maybe they get some credit for keeping the team together with. Chicago fires a coach. Dallas fires a coach. Dallas hires Pat Burns. Barry Barry Melrose got fired. Peter Laviolette replace him. Jacques Martin gets fired by Nashville and gets replaced by Jim Schofield. Feld. Field Feld. Tom Rennie coaching in Chicago. All right. Unsigned. Chris Thorburn. Rick Rippin. We're not in a rush to sign anybody. Oh, I mean, Tanner Glass, I guess we can get under contract. Is, yeah, still in college. I can't remember how that works in historical if they're still in college at this point. Whatever, we'll put him under contract. And we'll also sign Yanni Pickinen because he's one of our best defensive prospects. prospects. Yeah. And we could use him. At the rate you go through defensemen, sure. Well, yeah, man, we're just fine. We're not going to do the draft, but we're going to get to July 1st. So I can uh, set the roster limits up if I need to. You don't to. need to change them. It's, it'll re it reverts as soon as you get uh... Then we will check to make sure it works. I'm literally looking at the numbers in the editor right now. I know okay, what they are. Fine, fine, fine. Yeah, they pick It'll be ninety. Four. Rick Rippin wants thirty-seven. I can't give it to you, Rick. I'm sorry. We'll give you a seventy-three though. I'm sorry, Rick. And we'll just continue here to see our manager points and get to July 1st. And as we get to July 1st, we will do our we will do uh, our wrap-up outro. Yep. Thirty season score. Da -da 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 -da. Pretty good. Yeah, not bad. Coaching forwards. Oh, let's go up our negotiating skill. Player management. We'll go up in coaching goalies, defense forwards. All right. So moving to next day. All right. With that, thank you very much for tuning in to another Franchise Hockey Manager stream. We typically stream every Wednesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern on Twitch.tv slash Franchise Hockey Manager as well as Twitch.tv slash OOTP Developments. All of our streams are archived on our YouTube channel, which is YouTube.com slash OOTP Developments as well, with archives going live Sundays at about 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to talk to us about something about Franchise Hockey Manager, you can reach out to us on Facebook, which is facebook.com slash Franchise Hockey Manager. On Twitter, we're at Franchise Hockey. You can also find a link to our official Discord in our Twitter bio. And you can come on down to our official website, which is ootpdevelopments.com. Click on the community button in the top right-hand corner, which will bring you to our official forums. We can come talk about Franchise Hockey Manager, Out of Park Baseball, Perfect Team, Go, or anything else you wish to discuss. As we mentioned earlier, FHM is on sale. FHM 9 is on sale right now for 50% off, $19.99 USD for the next week. 
Uh, p Wog says, will there be a show next week, draft day? Absolutely. Yep. As long as it's after the Jets make their pick. I think you may have to watch both. Uh, yeah. All right. So with that, the really painful is... part will be that playing that because it's a Wisconsin game, and in that game, uh, the uh, Canucks wound up with Bedard. All right. Let's see here. Sorry. Uh, Thierry Fleury retires. Mike Keane retires way earlier than he did in real life. Did Lemieux retire? Well, we lost Housley. Housley has retired. Oh, uh, despite the contract. I think that's probably a good thing for you. Yeah, probably. We have enough defensemen. Uh, Weinrich retires. Titov. Neuendijk retires. So we sent him back to Calgary, and he has retired. So good for him. Um, yeah. Eisman's still uh, dropping. Mike, Mike Richter. Yeah, I hadn't got there yet. Mike Richter, Van Viesbrook, Corey Schwab. Now, oh, Richter and Van Viesbrook retired in the same year. Uh, did they? They would have been close in real life, too. And, right, this is the Alexander Ovechkin draft. So we're going to be picking late, so who's who's one of the late picks? Carter Hutton, Carl Soderberg. Wait, oh, Van Biesburg was already uh, retired in this game? Yeah. In real life, you mean? Oh, yeah. No, I mean, uh, did he show up? At, was he on the list? Van Viesbrook? Yeah, why is it showing him there? Go click on uh, Edmonton G. Van Viesbrook uh, to spend time with family. He's not with Edmonton, and he's... Uh... 0304, oh. he played five games. This was this past year, yeah? Was oh, he yeah, okay. Oh, for some reason, he's showing... No, he's actually marked as retired in the uh, at the start of the stream. Well, maybe he retired mid midstream. Oh, he did. He retired mid season, and it's showing that now. No, no, he had a hernia in November. That's strange. I'll John McConnell thinks the season was success. Looking forward, we maintain. Okay, okay. Before we leave, I just have to check to see how much our owner has screwed us over again. You know, because it feels like he's going to screw us over and. He took 300 points, but, you know, we're 457. Points. It's gradually building it up. Yeah, okay. Well, at least we get to use a normal budget this year. Uh, we'll put in normal maintenance on the arena. You might as well use a... Get a little bit more of it your wage budget. Oh, you don't really get that much with these by spending the extra points. No. We could raise our player development for 25 points by one. We could do it up by 40. We have enough to do that. Yeah, I would think about doing that, I think. Yeah, so let's your do salary, that. You're still 10 million below what your salary budget is, so I think you're fine there. Yeah. All right, our monthly stuff, we're just going to put team morale way back down because we don't need to be spending. No marketing spending at all? No, we don't need marketing. We're a brand new team who just went to the Stanley Cup final. All right, with that, thank you very much for tuning in to another Franchise Hockey Manager stream, and we will see you all again next week. Bye-bye.